one and all to the KOE Nation for another premium spirits review. I am your King of Extreme Phil KOE, joined by my indomitable broadcast partner. Tony G, the Blend Master. Like, share, subscribe. Oh, Lord. You know that's an actual title, don't you? Yeah, it's my title. Fair enough. Fair enough. Today, folks, we are here to review Nika Coffee Grain Whiskey. Uh, Nika Distillery makes some pretty good stuff. Tony and I have uh, gotten into a little bit of Nika. But this one is, I'm going to say, one of the more deceptive titles in whiskey. Okay. Because coffee grain, what's your immediate thought? Mocha, coffee, uh, roasted, dark, dark, dark chocolates. Uh, not a lot of sweet, but enough sweet. Coffee. Here's the actual story behind it. Okay. This grain whiskey is distilled in a coffee still. Here's a picture of the coffee still okay. right there. Let me know when it's good and clear for the audience. Almost. Yep. There you go. Yes, All right. that is a coffee still, folks. Okay, Nika coffee grain whiskey in a coffee still, which is a very traditional and rare patent still. Still, Nika imported from Scotland in 1963. The coffee still produces a complex whiskey with a mellow and sweet taste, originating from the grain itself. Please enjoy the uniqueness of this whiskey, which Nika offers to the connoisseur. <laughs> this whiskey is actually 95% corn. Really? The last 5% is malted barley so that they can get the enzymes needed in distillation okay. naturally. Okay. So that's why like uh, even like bullet rye has 5% okay. other so they can get those enzymes naturally. I believe that's the process. Hmm. If I'm wrong, trust me, the folks in the comments will let me know. Um, but yeah, so folks get the wrong impression this, this is gonna be a coffee but it's the coffee still it's a style of still that okay. was running into the 1800s in scotland they imported into japan in 1963 and they've been distilling with that same still ever since it's got a very uh thick residue on the glass i like that the color's really oh nice my, that is candy sweet oh wow it smells a lot stronger you said this is 90 proof 45% A alcohol by volume. It so smells a lot more intense. It's very sweet on the nose, though. Yeah. Like, mm. but yeah, it but smells it, it like a higher proof. But it doesn't smell like <clears throat> corn. Like, we've done no. reviews of mellow corn. We've done reviews of Nebraska unaged corn whiskey, uh, like Howard Gooch's. I guess here. I could see the ethanol. I'm having a hard time because this is distilled right, cast right. It's a grain whiskey. It's definitely a grain whiskey. I guess, okay, I can smell grain. Let's just leave it there. But I, yeah, it's not. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's again, one of those weird, in, hmm. in whiskey, a grain whiskey is just a, any predominant grain whiskey, just that's not a single malt, so. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's see how it uh, hits the palate, sir. Nika Coffee Grain Whiskey. Wow. That's sweet oh, and smooth. Yeah, it's really light, really crisp, smooth. A little bit of a warm honeyed spice on the back, but not much. This is a good, smooth whiskey. The, the lingering impact on your palate, you could almost compare to a coffee. Okay, I could, I could see where you're coming there. Okay, but, but other than that, yeah, I'm it's just no all coffee. sweetness and very light. Mm -hmm. This would be a good whiskey to introduce a novice to. Yeah, like this is just a good amateur's whiskey. It's very light on the palate. Yeah, and I'm not saying it as a bad thing. I'm saying this is just one for because sometimes you got to come down to people's level where they're drinking at, and this well, is, yeah, the uh... meet them at their. I'm not even come down. Just meet them at their level. If there's somebody that 
wants to have it on a few rocks or they want to mm. just enjoy it neat, but it not being overwhelming. Like we've had a couple of scotches like the Macallan, which if you're not used to it, it can be overwhelming to you. This is... I think the nose smells a lot more intense as far as alcohol goes. The palate's very light on it. Light and approachable. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting candy, not much fruit influence, but just like a candied sugar. Mm -hmm. like the kind of candied sugar you put on a candied apple, but no apple there. I'm not getting that. More like the uh, hard candies you'd find in a, like your grandmother's tin. Yeah. Very, very sweet. And that's all the corn. Um, yeah, I, corn. I think I get a little bit of that coffee influence on the back end, but not like flavor specifically, but coffee adjacent maybe. I don't know. It's, it's very nice. Very crisp. Mm. How should no. we grade this? Mm. I think we're going to grade this on five scales, Ooh. actually. We're going to grade this as a Japanese whiskey, okay. as a whiskey, okay. as a cascade spirit, as a corn whiskey. Wow. And then it's shelving, and then the secret six question. Okay. So, as a Japanese whiskey. As a Japanese whiskey, I'm going to go four. Uh, it's approachable. It's crisp. It's light. It's drinkable. Very drinkable. Mm -hmm. And it's not offensive in any way. Uh, four stars. Get out of my head. Sorry. I was thinking the same thing. It's a four star Japanese yeah. whiskey. It's great. We've had some that are a smidge better, but only a smidge and usually from the same distillery. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Nika, you've uh, done a lot to win us over. Um, yeah, I'm going to give this four stars as a Japanese whiskey. Now, as a whiskey, this is putting it up against uh, a lot of contenders. Your scotches, your crown royals, your Irish whiskeys, American craft whiskeys. Yep. The world of whiskey. It's quite broad. I'm going to go three and a half. Three and a half? Yeah. It's good. Um I don't know why, three and a half was the first thing that came to mind. I can't really find a reason to go any higher, but I could, there's no way I'd go lower. It's, it's solid whiskey. Uh, this is drinkable. It's, it's not super duper unique by any means, but I think this is an ice. This is a dilute with water. You, yeah, an ice, this would be great. I think this would cocktail in a little bit different, more approachable way to people who like simple cocktails. You could do complicated cocktails with this. You could... Cocktail this with cola. Yeah, you could do okay. easy cocktail. If that's just something that yeah. you wanted that night, this is a good this is a good weekend drinker. Mm -hmm. It's also a good you've had a rough Thursday. Sure. So I'm gonna give three seven five, but I'm more generous than you, but only just. That's fair. Now, as a cask aged spirit, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'll go up. Ahead go ahead. Here. Go ahead. I'm going to be a little less generous. Uh, this is more of a representation of the grain okay. than it is the casking. So I'm going to do this three, two, five. Uh, it's excellent. It's good stuff. Hmm. But I'm going to give this three, two, five because it's more of a representation of the excellence of the grain. Okay, that's probably fair. I'll go three and a half. And I think I'm going to stick with that. But that's also why, as a corn whiskey, Tony. I'm going to give this five stars as a corn whiskey. As a corn whiskey, I'm going to give it four and a quarter. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think other than corn whiskey made here in our beloved state of Nebraska. Of Which our, is basically a seven star whiskey. 7.2. Yeah. Uh, geez, don't get me started. Seven, um, yeah. But this is a five star corn whiskey whiskey showing i mean folks at nika like literally thank you this, this is nice. this is an amazing corn whiskey we're gonna have to do a comparison yes in the future definitely but my word now shelving i would probably go middle shelf with this it's definitely not in the bottom There's no i knew way you were gonna say bottom. that i would not put this on my bottom but i would not put this on my top either that is miyagikyo sits there but uh this would be uh you and i sit in corn country we uh raise a lot of corn where we are and uh, nika does actually import a lot of grain from okay. around the world so there's a good chance that even some of our grain could have made its way into this 
Probably not. But you know, there's Don't a lot of rule it out. there's a lot of grain producers out there, but they usually import. So this is gonna be one of my strongest showings of the possibility of just corn. That's if fair. I have somebody over at my house, you know, and we're just discussing such That's such fair. a thing. So this will remain and that also answers the secret question. This is sixty-five dollars for this, so it's a little pricey. I would definitely seek this bottle at a sale if I yeah. could get it 50 or below. But Japanese whiskey is very rare and hard to find right now, which is why even this bottle is priced where it is. Okay. But I'm going to try and keep one in stock to show the power of corn when okay. possible. So, that's but fair. now for that price, tell me, that's it's a hard bargain. There's, ain't it? there's probably another one that I would seek out before this one. Yes, that's that's fair. That's fair, and it's probably from the same still. It is. Yes, yes. Uh, Miyagi is really good. Uh, but folks, this is an excellent uh, showing from the Mika Distillery. I am very, very pleased with this, and I will be using this in the future. And there will be more content that features Mika coffee, grain, whiskey going forward into the future. But see. Anything you'd like to say to the people? That was really nice. As I'm known to say around here, folks, all that being said, thank you for joining us here at the KOE Nation for an excellent review of Nika Coffee Grain Whiskey. I am your King of Extreme, Phil KOE, signing off and handing it off to my indomitable broadcast partner, the one, the only, the Blend Master, Tony G. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for coming.